Chapter 1931 Mortal Cannon. Tang Wuling listened to her narration patiently. His heart was warmed with mixed emotions. Why are you telling me this now? Are you afraid that you won't have the chance to do so in the future? Do you know shook her head? No. Actually, I can't tell if I'm Gu Yue or Nai now. Or should I say, I'm both. Our fusion occurs gradually anyhow. Do you know the change in me after the fusion? Tang Wuling was stunned. What change? Gu Yuna smiled. What's more love? It's the combination of two people's love. This may perhaps be our final battle. Thus, I'm going to tell you this regardless of whether you believe in me or not. I'm willing to give up the whole world for you. Tang Wuling smiled. He wrapped his arms around her. I'm going to tell you this too. I'm willing to love the whole world for you. Gu Yuna closed her eyes. Drops of crystal clear tears rolled down her long lashes. She hugged him tightly. This was perhaps their last chance together. Buzz, buzz, buzz. A deep buzzing sound was heard echoing throughout Tula. The ground began to shake mildly as well. Tang Wuling and Gu Yuna raised their heads simultaneously and looked into the distance. The silver light shield began to shake violently while the silver radiance became warped. It was finally time. The end battle was drawing near. Gu Yuna stood up with the silver dragon dance healing clattered to her body while she grasped the silver dragon spear in her hand. In the extreme cold, her last tear dropped turned into an ice crystal before hitting the ground. Tang Wuling grasped it thin air with his right hand. A piercing golden radiance was seen and the sea gods tried landed in his palm. Mankind's powerhouses unleashed their battle armors as well. The soldiers were done with their final preparations. Crack. A piercing sound was heard. A watery blue rift instantly appeared on the surface of the silver light shield in the distance. In the next moment, a large area of the silver radiance dispersed akin to a receding tide. The abyssal sage king stepped out and walked on the ground with an icy cold expression in his gaze. He had been confined by the spatial lock for three whole days. It was mankind's feeble attempt to delay him from completing his dream divine realm. This infuriated the abyssal sage king immensely. He could sense that Tang Wuling was still alive in the distance. So what? Nothing stood in the way before the heaven sank crack abyss. Would three days of delay change their destiny? The ancient life tree in the distance was within his sight. The battlefield was filled with rich life sources which vaguely resisted his aura. He found nothing fulfilling. Mankind was still as insignificant as before. Tang. Wu. Lin. All of a sudden, a shriek echoed throughout the entire scene. It was apparent the sound was from a soul loudspeaker. Tang Wulin, whose entire body had tensed in preparation to brace the abyssal sage king's attack, was stunned for a moment. Who would call him at this very moment? In the next moment, a pink light shadow surged skyward from the mountain peak in the distance. The pink turned gold red the next moment. It shot straight at the abyssal sage king in the form of a shocking rainbow. At the same time, there was a sob, followed by a sad, bitter, recalcitrant, yet reckless voice. I. Love. You. No. Tang Wulin's expression changed drastically in an instant. He called aloud, but it was too late for him to do anything. The abyssal sage king's pupils constricted abruptly. He swung the heaven sank crack abyss in his hand, but the gold red radiance was moving too fast. It was so swift that his eyes could not track it. The heaven sank crack abyss struck the gold red radiance in an incomparably precise manner. In the next moment, an unprecedented huge explosion burst out. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Even the people that were watching in every corner of the Duluo Federation through the large screens could feel their ears humming from the unexpectedly loud booming noise despite being far away from the epicenter. On the other hand, everyone on the Mankind Legion side on the battlefield lost their hearing temporarily almost in an instant. It was a majestic scene. The explosion was violent beyond comparison. The enormous mushroom cloud rose along with the incomparably light and heat instantly to illuminate the entire battlefield. Even the purple sun in the sky seemed to have been already dimmed at this very moment. In a flash, Tang Wuling's vision blurred. He was well aware of who that person was and also what sort of attack it was. My name is Ling Zichen. You can address me as Director Ling. I'm from the Tang Sek Sol Ammunition Research Center. Hello, Director Ling. Welcome to Shrek. I'm expressing my utter dissatisfaction in regards to my being transferred here without any clear explanation or reason provided. Although you are the Tang Sek Sect Master, do you know how important my current research is? Stopping my research halfway is equal to stopping my train of thought. It's going to take God knows how long before I can tidy up my train of thought once again. Our research has been carried out continuously for a total of three consecutive years by over 110 scientists. As the center's director and the head scientist, my departure will greatly affect their progress. I hope that the Sect Master will be able to provide me with a reasonable explanation. I'm very sorry, Director Ling. I was genuinely unaware that you were a researcher. It's just that there's something very crucial that we have to deal with. So we are now in need of your help. That is why we took the liberty. To summon you here. I truly don't know what those two excellencies were thinking when they appointed a sect master like you. You don't have any guts at all. Tell me, what's the point of being a good looking man? You're simply a sissy. All right. Tell me quickly, what do you need me for? After this has ended, I'll still need to return as soon as possible. I'll give you half a day. No, three hours time. I don't think that you'll have an issue that requires more than that for me to solve. Everyone protect Ling Zichen and be prepared for combat. Wuling, please help me stabilize the carriage. You're truly a lunatic. We are pressed for time. We can't complete the modification process in time without using my mega as the carriage. Do you think that the modification is an easy task? Come, quick. Stand behind me and help me stabilize the carriage. The kickback is going to be extremely strong. Be prepared. Are you scared? This has nothing to do with whether I'm scared or not. How can you take yourself so lightly? This is unrelated to my taking myself lightly or not. As a scientist, I care only about the success rate. I thought about using my body as the carriage since I'm the one most familiar with the positive circulation source soul circuit unit on the continent at present. On the other hand, there's only one eternal heaven which is more lethal than the one I developed earlier. If I want to make it a long-term reusable super weapon, I'll need to make slight modifications to the positive circulation source soul circuit unit continuously. I'll also carry out some adjustments during the launch process. I'm not a soul master, but there are many positive circulation source soul circuit units in my body composition. My spiritual consciousness is linked to the eternal heaven so that it is most effective when in use. In this way, the success rate will be increased by 18.5% as compared to placing the carriage elsewhere. Do you know the significance of this number? It means the overall safety is improved by 20%. The difference is substantial. So, how can I not do it? Moreover, I've succeeded. I'm the super weapon now. I have to say that even you're incapable of withstanding a frontal blast from me. Ha ha ha. I'm going to be our tank sex cannon god in the future. What's going on? Why aren't you saying anything? Zichen, you've sacrificed too much. Do you think I'm a monster? That I'm a crazy woman? No, I don't. I've never thought of you as a monster before. In my heart, you are a respectable scientist. You gave your life to science. You are the pride of Tang Sect. But, I'm a woman too. I yearn for the things a woman yearns for. Even if I only think about it occasionally, I'm still a woman after all. Prepare to launch the Eternal Heaven Cannon. Tang Wuling, stabilize the carriage. Chapter 1932 The crazy one is gone. The scenes of the past kept appearing in his mind. On the other hand, the woman who had such an ardent belief and spirited enthusiasm in soul technology research was gone. She was not able to launch the Eternal Heaven Cannon. As a result, she chose to use her body to bear the Eternal Heaven and converted herself into a real god killer ranked fixed soul. Ammunition. She sacrificed her life to unleash the most powerful weapon produced by mankind's soul technology on the abyss. Anyhow, she made herself into the eternal heaven. It was precisely her hard work and effort which allowed the eternal heaven to be unleashed a second time. At this juncture of the final battle, the blast was indeed crucial for mankind's legion. The Tang Sek Soul Weapon Research Center's director, Ling Zichen, had fallen. A blazing hot radiance filled the entire abyssal passage. Due to the intense brightness, the federal military could not see what happened in the terrifying huge explosion. Only the incandescent radiance filled their visual field
Tang Wolin pulled out. He tugged the silver dragon princess Yu Yuna's hand. Both of them rose into the sky simultaneously. They charged straight toward the fiery light with the jewel golden and silver colored radiances before the explosion had even subsided. The air lost oxygen due to the intense burning, and it turned blazing hot. It became a prohibited zone for mankind, but Tang Wolin and Yu Yuna just threw themselves into it without hesitation. Their minds were connected. Two light rays shot out from their palms separately. Those were precisely the golden dragon spear and the silver dragon spear. The two great divine weapons dived into the intense explosion with a dazzling radiance. All at once, Tang Wolin and Yu Yuna's bodies turned blazing hot. Immeasurable energy flowed into their bodies instantly. It was the devilment from the two great divine weapons. There was no other weapon that could deliver a crushing blow to the abyssal creatures. Even the king ranked and monarch ranked powerhouses were incapable of withstanding the eternal heavens power. After three days of adjustments and resurrections, a large number of the abyssal creatures were resurrected with the abyssal sage king's support. The creatures were surging out at that very moment. At the same time, the eternal heaven descended upon them. Just imagine the number of abyssal creatures which were pulverized by the eternal heavens explosion. Even the abyssal passage could only devour and absorb a limited amount of abyssal energy in the unexpected massive explosion. Even the abyssal sage king was engrossed in the explosion's epicenter to worry about anything else in the meantime. The golden dragon spear and the silver dragon spear dived into the explosion's epicenter under such circumstances. A large amount of abyssal energy was devoured and absorbed by the spears before being channeled back to Tang Wolin and Yuna. Their powers were elevated substantially at once. The most obvious change was that the ancient life tree's projection in the distance became more distinct. An even richer life source was unleashed to enter the land. Roar, roar, roar. A wild, raging roar was heard soon after two piercing, loud booms were heard, two light rays shot backward, they were precisely the two divine spheres, Tang Wolin and Yu Yuna retracted their divine weapons, later, a light ray surged from the epicenter of the explosion, all of you must die, all of this must be destroyed, the abyssal sage king was obviously in a rather shabby state, his long hair hung down loosely behind his back, he was no longer the immaculate person he was earlier, he had a calm and handsome face initially, but now, his face had a few wounds to it, his clothes were ripped as well, apparently, he was seriously injured in the epicenter of the explosion caused by the terrifying weapon, the eternal weapon despite his superior abilities, Tang Wolin and Yu Yuna unleashed the dragon god transformation without any hesitation once again, the golden color fused with the silver color, piercing flares burst out, the two silhouettes coincided, at present, the dragon god's aura was more powerful than the previous release on the battlefield earlier. Tang Wolin transformed himself into the overbearing dragon god. The silver dragon spear and the golden dragon spear surged skyward before transforming into two radiances which spun around his body akin to two circling satellites. The golden dragon spear stabbed into the air. At once, a mighty torrent of energy burst forth to engulf the abyssal sage king. Fire spewed forth from the abyssal sage king's eyes. He was obviously infuriated beyond reason. He never expected to be injured on the Duo continent plane. He had always treasured his body in order to further elevate himself to the god king realm. His body was crucial to achieving his objective. The injury would certainly delay his ambition to become the god king. In fact, he might not be able to achieve the perfect form. How could he refrain himself from getting mad? Moreover, the golden dragon spear and the silver dragon spear had devoured a large amount of abyssal energy earlier. He could only watch helplessly as they completed the process when he was distracted. The abyssal energy was considered a portion of the abyssal sage king. When the abyssal energy was being devoured, his power would weaken as well. He came to the Duluo continent, so he could devour all the life force here and use the Duluo star as the foundation for his divine realm. At present, he had yet to devour much of the Duluo continent's life force. On the contrary, he lost quite a large amount of his abyssal energy, which infuriated him even more. He had lost his mood of playing a cat catching a mouse. Currently, he could only think of destroying everything before him and devouring all that this plane could offer as quickly as possible. The heaven sank crack abyss was stabbed forward brazenly. The mighty torrent of energy was stopped short immediately. At his rank, it was no longer important for him to unleash his soul skills. What mattered most were absolute speed with absolute power. The abyssal sage king swayed his body once, and he was before Tang Wolin. The heaven sank crack abyss was swung brazenly at Tang Wolin's head. Tang Wolin lifted the sea god's trident in his hand while his body swerved to the side simultaneously. Having learned from his previous experience, he would never expose his body to the heaven sank crack abyss again. Clang. A piercing sound was heard. Tang Wolin retreated abruptly. He was, however, not blasted away by the impact like he was previously. Nine colored scales were seen glimmering on Tang Wolin's body. The scales appeared to be reflective mirrors. Not only that, a peculiar golden glow could be seen all over his body. The golden radiance gushed out, making his body fall back. At the same time, it managed to fend off a part of the heaven sank crack of his radiance. In addition, it further enhanced Tang Wolin's power tremendously. When he swung the golden trident, the golden glow moved to his arm. On the other hand, when he fell back from the impact, the golden glow covered his body to minimize the repercussions resulting from the collision. It was truly intriguing. The breakthrough of the Golden Dragon King's 16th layer seal signified that Tang Wolin had gained an eighth golden soul ring. At the same time, the eighth soul ring gave him the ability, which belongs to the Golden Dragon King's bloodline power, known as the Golden Waterfall. Chapter 1933, the ancient life tree joined in. The two powerful abilities of the Golden Dragon King were its attack and defense. The attack ability could only be gained after all the seals were opened. On the other hand, the defense ability was precisely the Golden Waterfall currently unleashed by Tang Wolin. More accurately, the Golden Waterfall should be known as the Golden Dragon Waterfall. It was not just a pure defense type soul skill, but a defense and support ability. Whenever Tang Wolin was in danger, it could immediately provide the best countermeasure for the emergency. The Abyssal Sage King was stunned when he realized that he barely injured Tang Wolin with his halberd. He noticed that the opponent was obviously more powerful after completing the Dragon God transformation this time. The Abyssal Sage King could not help feeling astonished in his heart. Although there was still a huge disparity between the both of them, he was rather surprised that the opponent before him possessed the ability to contend with him for a short period of time. It was an unpleasant feeling. The Abyssal Sage King would never allow such a mishap to take place. He did not expect the two young people before him to develop to this extent, despite not being able to attain Godhood yet. He could not allow them to continue to develop in such a manner. The Abyssal Sage King's eyes suddenly turned deep. He had caught up with Tang Wolin in an instant. The heaven sank crack abyss was stabbed at the opponent once again. It was impossible to evade when confronted with absolute speed and power. The moment the Abyssal Sage King launched an attack, all the heaven and earth powers wielded by him. It was inevitable. Tang Wolin lifted the sea god's trident in his hand again. A piercing, loud boom was heard, and he was repulsed once more. The heaven sank crack abyss was tilted in an upward lifting motion. The golden dragon waterfall propelled Tang Wolin's body to the side. At the same time, it resisted the sharp radiance of the heaven sank crack abyss to the best of its abilities. The Abyssal Sage King's godly power was so powerful that Tang Wolin's arms were completely numb and sore after just two collisions. Even though he was in a better condition than the previous battle, he knew it was not enough. There was still a huge disparity between them. Poof. The Golden Dragon Waterfall had only managed to resist a portion of the sharp radiance. The Heaven Sank Crack Abyss radiance cut across the Golden Dragon Moon Song and left a huge gash on it. The Heaven Sank Crack Abyss ability to brush off opposing defenses was truly domineering. The forward battle armor was rendered ineffective in its attack. Fresh blood gushed out once again. Countless people gasped aloud upon watching the scene. Undoubtedly, Tang Wolin and Yu Yuna were the final force to resist the Abyssal Sage King. However, it was also at this exact moment when a stream of green radiance cut across the sky to illuminate Tang Wolin's body the moment it was injured. The radiance flashed once. Tang Wolin's wound was
Tang Lilin was repulsed immensely. This time, there was a huge gash which nearly cut his body into half. Without a doubt, it was the Abyssal Sage King's true attacking ability. Previously, such an attack would send Tang Lilin to the brink of death. Currently, he had the support of a life force of the entire Duluo continent. A dazzling green radiance landed on Tang Lilin's body in an incomparably precise manner. It revitalized him instantly while his injuries were healed in the next moment. Furthermore, he was now in peak form. The Sea God's Trident was unleashed to assault the Abyssal Sage King once again. The Abyssal Sage King did not expect such an outcome. He no longer felt infuriated, but rather depressed and said, he was tired of fighting an opponent who could not be beaten to death. He was aware that the ancient life tree channeled an exceedingly huge amount of life force in order to heal any injury inflicted by the heaven sent crack of his attack. He could still kill Tang Lilin by keeping him engaged for a longer period. Tang Lilin would be exhausted until he could not no longer sustain his effort. However, it would Take a long time. At present, the fusion of Tang Wulin and Guyuno produced the Dragon God transformation with the support of the ancient life tree. They were akin to sticky candy, which was difficult to break free from. The Abyssal Sage King squinted his eyes and let out a grunt. Very well. Do you think you'll be able to stop my advance just like that? As he spoke, he swept the heaven sank Krakabis horizontally and blasted Tang Wulin away once again. In the next moment, he raised the super divine weapon over his head. A dark blue radiance surged from his body and dashed toward the ground below. Abyss reassembled. The glow from the explosion of the eternal heaven was dimming by now. It faded gradually to reveal the Abyssal Passage's exit, which was now double its initial size. Not a single abyssal creature could be seen. One could just imagine how powerful the explosion was. It was precisely at that moment a gigantic dusk gold light pillar spewed forth from the Abyssal Passage following the Abyssal Sage King's call. There was a ruthless expression on the Abyssal Sage King's expression when the gigantic light pillar appeared. Tang Wulin's expression turned solemn soon after. He clearly felt a strong abyssal energy from the dusk gold light pillar with its abyssal aura. It was obvious that the eternal heaven had stopped the abyssal plane, but it did not do much damage to the abyss. The moment I descended upon this world, all the plane oppression no longer existed. It signifies that I can bring the power of the entire abyss over here, including the abyss resurrection power. Even though it's exhausting, consuming some hidden resources is nothing compared to devouring the Dolor plane. You can only stop me temporarily, but I'd like to see how you're going to stop my abyssal legion. Before the abyssal sage king's voice died away, millions of abyssal creatures gushed out from the gigantic, dust gold light pillar akin to a fairy maiden scattering flowers from heaven. The abyssal creatures charged out in all directions. Tang Walin was astonished when he spotted a few familiar silhouettes from the many abyssal creatures. There was the abyssal spirit dragon king, the spirit monarch. There was the abyssal monarch of black empresses, the black monarch, the intense monarch, the transform monarch, the beam monarch, and other abyssal monarchs which had been killed in the earlier battles all came out from the gigantic, dust gold light pillar one at a time. Although these resurrected abyssal monarchs were lacking in spirituality and intelligence as compared to before, the they emitted were not weak. The Abyssal Sage Kings and the entire Abyssal Plane's powers were totally revealed at the moment. Tang Walin's eyes turned nine colored completely upon witnessing the scene. All opportunities were lost. He could only end all this by killing the Abyssal Sage King. The nine colored halos were sprinkled while Tang Walin's aura was elevated to perfection instantly. The ancient life tree projected a ray of radiance and illuminated his body as if it was sensing his transformation. He unleashed the indefinite storm. The Abyssal Sage King grunted once. He did not dodge the indefinite storm. Instead, he confronted it head on. He watched Tang Walin mockingly as if to say, Even if you can trap me for the time being, what do you have to kill me then? It was also at this exact moment when Tang Walin suddenly passed the Sea God's trident to his left hand. His right arm crossed the void and pressed onto the Abyssal Sage King's chest. A puff of seven colored flame branded the Sage King's chest instantly, transforming into the shape of a lotus flower. The Abyssal Sage King's agonizing scream echoed throughout the entire scene at once. Chapter 1934 The Seven Color Lotus Flower. Willine, what's that design on your hand? Do you know glimpse the strange looking seven color lotus flower motif on the back of his hand when his arms were wrapped around her? Oh, I've forgotten about it. It's the flame in the shape of a lotus flower shimmering with a seven colored radiance was etched on the Abyssal Sage King's chest. The Abyssal Sage King let out an unprecedented agonizing scream at once. The burning sensation scorched his heart and bones. It was not only burning his body but also his divine consciousness. Where did the flame come from? It was from the Firehost clan. It came from a strange clan who claimed to belong to the magic blue world. According to the description given by a Firehost clansman, it was a strange region with seven colored seas and six great territories. The seven color lotus flower flame was the Firehost clan's real fire. It was reputed to be able to burn through anything. It was precisely the Yuna's reminder that Tang Walin remembered he still possessed such a flame. When he used his soul power to urge the flame into appearing for the first time after he had achieved his god ranked body, he felt both fearful and joyous at the same time. His body had surpassed the leap proof golden body. After attaining the true body of a god, the appearance of the seven color lotus flower flame roused fear in him. One could imagine just how powerful the flame's burning ability was. It was precisely the trump card which Tang Walin prepared for the Abyssal Sage King today. The indefinite storm could perhaps immobilize the opponent temporarily, long enough for him to unleash the seven colored lotus flower on the Abyssal Sage King. The Abyssal Sage King's agonizing scream halted the Abyssal Legion momentarily afterward. Tang Walin swung the Sea God's trident once again to pierce the Abyssal Sage King's chest. The indefinite storm was losing its hold on the Abyssal Sage King. The disparity of their cultivation bases made the indefinite storm's control last for only a short time. After struggling free from the indefinite storm, the Abyssal Sage King used the Heaven Sank Crack Abyss to sweep horizontally across to push the Sea God's trident away, but it abruptly came back to cut him in the next moment. The dark blue blood radiance gushed out. A large chunk of flesh was shaved from the Abyssal Sage King's chest with his own Heaven Sank Crack Abyss. He was cast into the sky together with the seven colored lotus flower's flame. Even now, the seven colored radiance on the Abyssal Sage King's head flickered a few times. His face was in agony before his dark blue radiance drowned out the seven colored radiance. The seven colored lotus flowers flame burned him until he finally struggled free from the indefinite storm. It only took two breaths when he cut off a part of himself. In any case, he was apparently injured. He never expected to be suffering from injuries that were even more severe than being blasted by the eternal heaven earlier. The flame was certainly of a high rank. The wound on his chest was so deep that one could see something similar to a human skeleton. It was as difficult to heal as Tang Wulin's wound, which was inflicted by the heaven sent crack of his earlier. He was incapable of healing his wound for the time being. More importantly, the Abyssal Sage King's divine consciousness was injured to a certain extent. It was his greatest loss. Due to the lack of a godhood tablet, he had yet to create the divine realm. His divine consciousness had been accumulated through countless years before the divine realm was created. The injury to his divine consciousness was a crushing blow to him. It would substantially affect his rank in the divine realm in the future. How dare you injure me? The Abyssal Sage King was furious. He stabbed the heaven sent crack abyss toward Tang Walin and projected countless radiance which enshrouded Tang Walin from all directions. It seemed as though he could only vent the hatred in his heart by tearing apart his opponent completely. Tang Walin was calm and composed at the moment. The more dire the situation was, the calmer he needed to be. His only disappointment was that the seven color lotus fire's flame did not burn for a longer period of time before it was extinguished. When he was repulsed earlier, he took a glance at the motif on his hand and noted that the seven color lotus flower's design had faded. He could not conjure the flame again regardless of how hard he tried. Apparently, he could only utilize it for a short time. He truly regretted it. He did not expect the seven color lotus flower's flame to be so effective such that it could even injure the Abyssal Sage King's divine consciousness. Otherwise, he
houses leapt into the sky in succession to engage the formidable enemies. A green-blue radiance was seen circulating in the Azurox python's huge eyes. He swayed his body once and he transformed into a gigantic python over a thousand meters in length. It had the head of an ox and the body of a python. It slithered toward the resurrected number two most powerful creature from the abyss, the abyssal spirit dragon king, the spirit monarch. Despite the spirit monarch's resurrection, he was slightly different from before. He was no longer god ranked, but he was still at the peak just below the god rank. He was well matched against his opponent Amin. He relied on his powerful control ability to fight against Amin. On the other hand, Amin engaged the intense monarch. Without the heaven sent crack abyss, the intense monarch's abilities were weakened substantially. He was suppressed by Amin in a frontal collision. The collaboration of Amin and Amin made up for the loss of a few quasi gods. Based on their cultivation bases, Amin's cultivation base was no less inferior to the boundless sea duo Chenzinji. In fact, he might even have surpassed Chenzinji. Amin's abilities were equally powerful. The two great beast gods managed to stop the opposing sides' two most powerful monarchs. The rest of the powerhouses engaged with their opponents. All at once, both sides engaged in violent collisions. Loud booms were heard, and all of mankind's soul cannons and weapons were operating at full blasts. Piercing explosion noises and deafening booming sounds echoed throughout the entire scene. The number of abyssal creatures was truly immense. It was as mentioned by the abyssal sage king. When his body was brought to the Dulo continent, the most crucial factor was to minimize the suppression by the lord of the Dulo continent plane over the abyssal passage. Under such circumstances, all the constraints would disappear. It would allow the abyssal plane to bring the abyssal creatures to this world with minimal obstruction. The abyssal sage king spared no effort in using the abyssal energy to resurrect the numerous abyssal creatures. At present, more than half of the 108 levels of the abyss were damaged. However, almost all the powerhouses which represented the 108 levels initially had been resurrected. Thus, mankind's legion was under tremendous pressure. It was especially difficult for them after losing the long-range artillery fire reinforcements from the sea. The artillery fire was inadequate. The collisions between the powerhouses were still holding out. Mankind's side had sent out powerhouses from Shrek Academy, the Spirit Pagoda, the War God Hall, and all the large reclusive clans. They should be fine for the time being. However, they were losing ground in the overall battle. A few of the defense lines had been breached. The constant reinforcement of the War God Hall's powerhouses from the Tang sect managed to make the defense lines last longer. At present, the federal military was mostly lacking in large-scale lethal weapons. For safety reasons and the endurance of its forces, they were advancing and retreating with caution. The vast majority of the fixed soul ammunition type equipment were installed in the three great fleets. However, the three great fleets had been destroyed by the Abyssal Sage King, which resulted in the shortage of large-scale attack weapons on mankind's side. Chapter 1935 Jade Snake's Explosion. More importantly, the Abyssal Legion was ceaseless in coming. The Abyssal creatures killed would be returned to the Abyssal Plane. The lower level Abyssal creatures would be swiftly resurrected such that they would be back on the battlefield in no time. On the other hand, the human's death on mankind's side would be a true death. If this continued, they would not stand a chance of winning. Tang Wolin and Guyuno were too preoccupied to do anything else in the meantime. The two dragon spears circling around them were suppressed by the heaven sank crackers such that they could not fly out to devour the Abyssal Energy. Although the Abyssal Sage King had yet to kill them, he did not give them the chance to devour the Abyssal Energy anymore. Boom. The defense line was finally breached. The soul defense devices exploded with a loud boom. A large number of the abyssal creatures were surging to the outside from the breach in the defense line. Meanwhile, a ball of silver radiance descended from the sky and spread out instantly. A vast expanse of silver light patterns spread out on the ground to fill the breach, which was over 100 meters wide. The abyssal creatures which assailed this spot were suddenly rendered immobile and totally shackled in this area. The shackle Alua Gixing appeared in an area not far away. He appeared slightly pale at the moment. It was difficult for him to control so many abyssal creatures at once. Moreover, there was no lack of powerhouses amongst the creatures. In any case, the breach could not be broken through again. Otherwise, mankind would be utterly defeated within a short time. The abyssal creatures would be charging toward the Dulo continent without the slightest hesitation once they breached the defense lines. By then, mankind would not stand a chance of winning at all. Thus, Luo Gixing was spared no effort in containing the breach to the best of his abilities. From nowhere, a black silhouette moved in a flash. A large number of the abyssal creatures were cut into halves before transforming into abyssal energy. It was Xu Yucheng who was slashing the abyssal creatures by the dozen with his reaper scythe. The Shrek Six monsters were fighting against the abyssal king ranked and monarch ranked powerhouses at the moment. Only they could salvage the situation here. Immediately after they sealed the breach, a loud boom was heard coming from a nearby area. An even larger breach appeared. The abyssal creatures surged out akin to water bursting from a dam. It was over. It was too late. Xu Yucheng and Luo Gixing had bitter expressions on their faces. The number of the abyssal creatures was immense. If the federal military was still in their prime, perhaps they could still be able to withstand a while longer by relying on the infrasonic wave and heavy iron weapons. However, they had been severely weakened in the battles earlier, and they had lost the naval reinforcements. More than half of their air force was gone as well. How could they resist this still? Tang Wolin and Guyuno were no longer active as they were getting beaten regardless of how much they utilized their abilities. Suddenly, a shriek was heard from the direction of the burst dam. Die, you feel the MTFRFCKRS. Die. Upon hearing the voice, Xu Yucheng's and Luo Guixing's expressions changed drastically at the same time. Both of them shouted aloud in unison. No. In an area not far away, a huge snake with green scales suddenly emerged in the air. Soon after, its enormous body exploded with a loud bang. The scales on its body shot outward in all the different directions. Wherever a scale passed, a large puff of dark green mist arose in its path. The abyssal creatures would melt rapidly upon even a slight contact with the mist, regardless of their ranks. In just a short while, those creatures turned into puffs. It was even more incredible that the gush of green aura did not vanish after the abyssal creatures had turned into abyssal energy upon their deaths. A large number of the abyssal creatures in the surroundings were infected by the abyssal energy, returning to the abyss such that even more abyssal creatures melted as a result. Urine. An agonizing scream was heard. A moment later, a giant bear pounced down from the sky and forcefully crushed a barn into mud. Its eyes were reddened with rage. Obviously, the bear had sunk into insanity. The huge green snake was precisely the jade snake's and urine. She sacrificed her life and exploded to disperse her jade snake king's toxin on the battlefield. It was especially effective, but it was also the death of her. The dust world bear Yang Nyangsha has been coupled with her since earlier. How could he refrain himself from being torn by grief upon witnessing her death? They were classmates with Tang Wulin in the past. They had competed against Tang Wulin as well. At present, Zheng Yuren was the first hero to fall amongst them in this final battle. A buzzing sound was heard. The abyssal sage monarch that was in charge of commanding the entire scene had noticed the situation. He pointed his staff at the ground below. At once, the abyssal energy, tainted with the jade snake's toxin, sank into the ground and stopped returning to the abyssal passage. However, a large number of abyssal creatures had been poisoned to death within a short time. The pressure at the breach was finally reduced. Zheng Yuren paid the price with her life so as to gain more time for the federal military. The abyssal sage monarch watched the entire scene with an icy cold gaze. The spirit monarch was resurrected. Hence, he had yet to completely recover his previous self at the moment. Apart from the sage king, the sage monarch held the highest rank in the abyssal legion now. Foolish mankind. You may be able to stop us temporarily, but how can you possibly stop my legion for real? To desperately resist may delay your defeat and death for only a little while. In the vast sea, the surface of the sea was calm yet dim. The purple sun in the sky abreast the entire sea surface. The warships were in battle formation, cruising rapidly on the sea. A handsome youth was standing on the bridge of the biggest warship. He gazed into the world outside through a window. Ever since the purple sun
Don't be anxious, sister. Explain clearly. Tell me what information you've there. The handsome youth standing on the bridge was precisely the Star Luo Empire's crown prince Da Yuan. He was Tang Wuling's worthy opponent in the past with the moniker of Tiger King. The bright-eyed young maiden, on the other hand, was his sister Diana. With great effort, Diana calmed her emotions before she reported the situation on the front line. The Star Luo Empire and the Dose Spirit Empire had received updates when the Abyssal Passage opened in Tula. The information came from the Tang Sect naturally. The Tang Sect was requesting reinforcements from them. The Tang Sect and Shrek Academy were well aware of the power of the Abyssal Plane. At the time, Tang Wuling had discussed with the numerous excellencies and concluded that they needed to gather all the forces necessary to resist the Abyss. Hence, they sent out a request for aid from the two great empires, the Star Luo and the Dose Spirit. The Duluo Star did not belong to the Duluo continent alone. It also belonged to the other two great continents similarly. If the Duluo continent would fall into the hands of the abyssal creatures, the entire planet would be destroyed. If the Duluo Federation could not stop them, how could the Star Luo Empire and the Do Spirit Empire possibly resist them then? The current king of the Star Luo Empire was a man of great talent and bold vision. After careful consideration, he agreed to send out the naval fleet. The only issue was the time period, from the appearance of the Abyssal Legion until now, was too short. It had only been ten days since. On the other hand, the voyage took a long time, and there was still more than half of the journey left. Meanwhile, the front line of the Duluo Federation had reached a critical moment. Chapter 1936 The reinforcements. Upon listening to his sister's explanation, they Yuan understood the severity of the situation. They knew about the Duluo Federation's armed forces naturally. They were surprised that the Duluo Federation did not even last for half a month despite having such powerful armed forces in addition to the numerous powerhouses. Dai Yuan was not only not bloating, on the contrary, he was deeply concerned. If the Duluo Federation was so quickly defeated, how long could they last if the Abyssal Legion arrived on the Star Luo continent then? Perhaps, they may not even last as long as the Duluo Federation. Yet, the situation was beyond their control. There was utterly nothing they could do now regardless of how anxious they were. Brother, what should we do? Willian can barely resist anymore. He's already injured severely. Brother, what should we do? As she spoke, Diana shook Dai Yuan's arm vigorously. She could not be pacified. Dai Yuan said with a bitter smile, Yuna, it's no use getting worked up. We still have a long voyage ahead of us. We can't just teleport the entire fleet there now, can we? You. At this point, his gaze became concentrated for a moment. All of a sudden, he stopped speaking. A radiance shot out from his eyes as he looked toward a window of the ship. Diana immediately raised her head as well upon seeing his expression. She followed his gaze to look outside. On the sea surface, a layer of green glow emerged at a spot not far from them. A vague, gigantic human shaped silhouette emerged on the surface of the sea. It appeared to be a woman with a branch-like object in her hand. She waved it gently in the direction of their naval fleet. Is that an enemy attack? Prepare for level one combat. Diana shouted aloud and quickly dispatched the order. At once, a piercing siren echoed throughout the entire Star Luo Empire's fleet. A misty green light shadow was sprinkled from the tree branch. The light shadow transformed into an enormous light shield which enshrouded the entire naval fleet. Soon after, everything in the surroundings suddenly blurred and turned illusory. The ship was shaking violently. Everything outside the light shield swept past the ship as if they were shuttling through time seemingly. In the next moment, the ship's hull shook abruptly, and the green glow then vanished. Everything seemed to have returned to normal. Meanwhile, the Star Luo naval fleet was still arming itself in the midst of the sounds of the siren. All sorts of weapons were prepared to be launched at any moment. Brother, what happened? Diana asked Dai Yuan in puzzlement. Dai Yuan was just as confused. I don't know either. It didn't feel like the green glow earlier was attacking us. Why do I feel like something's wrong? Your Highness Crown Prince, something's happened. For some unknown reason, our satellite signal shows that we're already at the open waters north of the Duluo continent. We're near Tula. It appears something's wrong with our instruments. Dai Yuan and Dai Yuna stood gazing at each other. Dai Yuna muttered to herself, Brother, what did you say earlier? Dai Yuan hesitated for a moment. Teleportation. It can't be, can it? Meanwhile, deep booming noises were heard coming from the distance. In fact, even the sea was shaking wildly from the loud booming noises. At the same time, a green radiance expanded and transformed into a light shield not far away from the Star Luo fleet. A moment later, another fleet which was half their size appeared out of thin air. Judging from the banner displayed, it was the naval fleet from the Doe Spirit continent. Could it be teleportation really? In Tula. Tang Wulin's eyes were filled with ferocity. A red glint was seen flickering beneath his eyes set off by the nine-colored radiance. Naturally, he could sense the situation taking place on the ground. His heart twitched violently beyond control when Zhang Yuan detonated herself. Way too many people had died in this war. To top it off, most of the deceased were his companions, friends, and seniors. The war had caused the deaths of a number of people akin to Mincemeat after going through a meat grinder. At any rate, he was incapable of defeating the Abyssal Sage King, almost as if he was fighting against a gigantic mountain. The only thing he could rely on now was the ancient life tree support to resist the opponent such that the Abyssal Sage King was too preoccupied to deal with the others. Nonetheless, it was the only thing he could do. Each collision between the Abyssal Sage King's heaven sank crack abyss and his sea gods trident would produce tremendous power with each outburst. Due to the disparity of their cultivation bases, he could only use the sea gods trident to block the heaven sank crack abyss attack with great effort. However, the wounds kept appearing one after another on his body. The Abyssal Sage King's rage seemed to be fading gradually. Obviously, he could see the situation of the great battle below him. Judging from the collisions of the more powerful powerhouses, mankind's legion could still sustain with great effort. However, the size of the Abyssal Legion was a few fold larger than mankind's. After losing a large portion of their main fighting forces, mankind's legion was getting weaker. When all hell broke loose, Tang Wulin's every effort would be rendered meaningless. The Abyssal Sage King evidently felt the ancient life tree's aura was weakening in the faraway sky. It had exhausted itself by continuously supporting Tang Wulin. It was a matter of time before Tang Wulin's dragon god transformation ended in defeat and death. Hence, the Abyssal Sage King was no longer in a rush. He had waited for six thousand years after all. Why would he rush now? The most important thing was to ensure that the opponent did not stand a chance to turn the tide. The seven color lotus flowers flame had truly startled him. The power of the flame which had burned his divine consciousness was absolutely of god rank. Thus, he took to injuring Tang Wulin repeatedly instead of taking the risk to attack him. At present, his attention shifted over to the situation on the ground. Many of mankind's powerhouses began to adopt Zheng Yuan's strategy of going all out. Yet, it was utterly meaningless. In the case of the deaths of the abyssal creatures, they would be resurrected from the abyss. Without the devourment of the silver dragon spear and the golden dragon spear, death was only a temporary hindrance in the resurrection of the abyssal creatures. Unless there were many more Zheng Yuan's, it was only a matter of time before death and defeat dawned upon mankind. Needless to say, the time would be soon. Suddenly, without warning, a loud rumbling sound was heard. Light rays with trails of magnificent-looking plumes shot into the battlefield from afar. These light rays landed on the abyssal creatures' side. Violent, loud booming noises were heard following the energy storms, which wreaked havoc on the numerous abyssal creatures. The abyssal creatures were blasted into a bloody mess. Large numbers of abyssal creatures died akin to retweet grass. The incomparably rich abyssal energy burst forth from the abyssal creatures. Let alone the abyssal plane. Even the federal military was startled by the unexpected attack. They had no idea where the attacks came from. Tang Wulin was constantly on the lookout for an opportunity. The abyssal sage king was caught in a daze momentarily when the incessant attacks came. Tang Wulin pointed the sea gods trident in his hand downward. His golden dragon spear finally broke free and shot out from the battle ring. He dived into the epicenter of the explosion in an instant.
Mo Lan was standing in front of Parliament's rostrum to continue to host the support ceremony. The entire Parliament was deadly quiet when the satellite image of the sea surface was sent over. The Hawk faction led by the military was rendered speechless, and everyone sank into an awkward silence. Requite evil with good. This is the way. This is the unity of mankind. All humanity has been brought together as one. Mo Lan shouted in excitement and passion with her unique, pleasant voice without any hint of mockery. They were on the verge of a true catastrophe. The Star Luo Empire and the Dose Fury Empire put away all their preconceived ideas and mobilized their armies for reinforcement. Although she had no idea how they appeared in the open water out of thin air, their arrival was just in time to control the critical situation. The fierce artillery fires suppressed the abyssal creatures, taking some of the pressure off of the frontline soldiers. Tang Sect's powerhouses on the frontline could even tell from the explosive power that the fixed soul ammunition shooting into the battlefield came from the Tang Sect. With the reinforcements from the naval forces, Tang Walin was re-energized. He went ahead to engage the abyssal sage king without a care in the world. He would not allow the sage king to be free enough to attack the others. Although he had no idea how long the stalemate would last, they were not in danger of being defeated, at least for the time being. The situation was at a stalemate once again. The navy forces spared no effort in attacking the abyssal passage, so that the federal military could hold on longer. On the other hand, the supplies and the reserve forces were already on the way to reinforce the frontline at high speed. This was the moment that would determine the survival of the Dulua continent. As such, the forces that could be mobilized and utilized would all be sent over. There was no room for regrets. Tang Walin was blasted away by the heaven sent crack abyss in the abyssal sage king's hand once again. He suddenly said coldly, "All you petty nobodies, do you really think that you can stop me just by doing this? This is a joke." If that's the case, then I won't waste your time anymore. When he said that, Tang Wuling saw his ignorant gaze just in time. At that exact moment, there was not an ounce of emotional fluctuation in the Abyssal Sage King. He spoke of it like it was the most common, trivial matter to him. Tang Wuling felt a slight foreboding in his heart. He watched as the Abyssal Sage King raised the heaven sent crack abyss halberd high up. At the same time, he widened his mouth and spat out a mouthful of dark blue light. When blue light landed on the heaven sent crack abyss, the ground below suddenly shook violently. An enormous burst of dark blue radiance erupted out of the ground like a geyser. Tang Wuling immediately unleashed the divine skill, the indefinite storm. Once again, although he had no idea what the Sage King was up to, he could sense that it was the end for everyone if he could complete his plan. He had seen the mocking expression on the Abyssal Sage King's face when his halos had trapped him. Dark blue radiance surged out from the Sage King's body like ripples to disperse the halos. It was Tang Wuling's first time failing to trap the target using the indefinite storm. Meanwhile, the dark blue radiance spreading out from the abyss was not targeting mankind's legion. Instead, it devoured the abyssal energy originating from the dead abyssal creatures in the surroundings like a whale with a huge mouth. When it came into contact with Tang Wuling's golden dragon spear, the golden dragon spear bounced away almost instantaneously. The abyssal sage king pointed the heaven sent crack abyss downward. At once, the blue light rose into the sky and fused with the sage king through the heaven sent crack abyss, strengthening his aura exponentially. The sky turned dark once again, but the purple sun glowed brighter than ever. Even so, the brilliance it emitted was filled with icy coldness. Oh no. He was actually capable of evolving himself. The Abyssal Sage King raised his left hand and made a pressing gesture in the air. All of a sudden, everything in the surrounding area halted to a complete stop. The bombardment of artillery fire on the battlefield, the ground that was just blasted open, chunks of soil, scattered shards of ice, dismembered body parts, and the Abyssal and human fighters engaging in the arduous war were affected. Even the limit below ranked powerhouses were all frozen still. Tang Walin was waving the Sea God's trident in an attempt to attack the Abyssal Sage King once again, but felt as if he had sunk into a mud pool. Although he could still move, he was more than ten times slower than before. It was as if he was doing everything in slow motion. In the sky, the numerous missiles moving towards their targets were frozen and could not budge even by an inch. The cheering voices from the large screens halted to a stop. The waves on the sea stopped lapping. At that moment, not only were all the people, the sky, and the ground frozen, but also everything else on the entire Dulu star. Well, more and more dark blue energy surged into the Abyssal Sage King's body from below, and his aura was still elevating continuously. In fact, it felt as if he was about to override the Dulu continent. A look of content appeared on the Abyssal Sage King's face. Above all, he enjoyed the feeling of having everything within his grasp and under his control. Are you curious as to what I'm doing? The Abyssal Sage King cracked into the smile, the same one that was last seen when he first arrived in this world. He looked at Tang Walin. Tang Walin struggled to advance slowly in an attempt to continue his attack. Nevertheless, regardless of how hard he tried, the grip on his body was only growing stronger while he was only getting slower. It's useless to struggle. You should understand that everything is meaningless before absolute power. Thus, don't waste your energy on idle work. Your efforts are futile. Tang Walin, you've already done far better than I imagined. Actually, I should thank you. At this point, the Abyssal Sage King's body floated forward slowly and arrived before Tang Walin. He raised his hand and caressed Tang Walin's cheek gently. Tang Walin felt chills run down his back and goosebumps erupted all over his body. The Abyssal Sage King was gazing at him attentively as if he was fascinated by Tang Walin in such a close distance. Had it not been for your efforts, I wouldn't be able to see the potential of your body. You are the son of a god king after all. Though your body has only just reached God rank recently, even the demon empress can't compare to your potential. The demon empress body only allows a portion of my strength to come to this world. If you were to evaluate me based on the ranks of the divine realm, I'm about rank two godhood. On the other hand, your so-called martial soul fusion skill has already achieved rank three godhood. In addition, you have two life cores which allow you to fight against me. Yet your actions have told me that your body is actually capable of bearing even more. I will only need to refine the demon empress body, then take over your body. By doing so, I will be able to recover all my power. Even though I have yet to acquire the godhood tablet, my real power can compare to a rank one godhood already. I believe that you haven't figured that out yet, right? Of course, I will need to extract my origin power from the abyssal plane in order to utilize all my strength and fully fuse the abyssal plane with this one. That doesn't matter anymore now, of course. After all, these two planes belong to me now. By the time I seize your body and destroy everything else over here, it will all be over. I would like to express my extreme gratitude to you for helping me to shorten the process of completing the divine realm. It will all be much simpler with your presence. As a result, it's time to end this. The disparity between a rank one godhood and a rank two godhood is about the same as the difference between a soul master and an ordinary person from your perspective. Now, this entire world is already within my control. I shall spare whom I want to spare and kill whom I want to kill. Actually, do you know that I admire you very much, especially your super divine divine weapon? Although I believe that I will need to put in a lot of effort to make it mine, it will be worth it, of course, if I can possess two super divine weapons when I first create the divine realm. What is there for me not to be content with? Very well. Everything is turning out better than I'd imagined. Now, I'm not going to continue to play with all of you anymore. Come, Tang Walin. Present your body to me. It's mine. At this point, the smile on the Abyssal Sage King's face grew wider and wider. He opened his mouth and spat out a gush of dark blue radiance at Tang Walin's face. Tang Walin felt his sea of divine consciousness begin to fluctuate. An incomparably powerful uninvited guest was squeezing into his divine consciousness to destroy it completely. Chapter 1938 Sea God's Descent and his 10,000 year plan. On the other hand, Tang Walin and Gu Yuna were engaged in a martial soul fusion. If his sea of divine consciousness were destroyed, then Gu Yuna would suffer the same fate. No, no, no. You can't. You can't just let it end just like this. Tang Walin screamed to himself hysterically. Intense, unyielding willpower made his heart grow restless and wild. He no longer cared about anything. Even if he would lose control of
at this time when the sea god's trident in Tang Wuling's hand suddenly gave out a buzz. Soon afterward, the golden striation that formed the sea god's trident suddenly emerged on Tang Wuling's forehead. There was a shimmering golden light as the striation transformed into a gush of calming energy that surged into Tang Wuling's divine consciousness. Not only did it expel the abyssal sage king's divine consciousness, but it had also calmed the wildness in Tang Wuling's heart and also stabilized the golden dragon king's final two seals once again. The sea god's trident broke free from his grasp and flew out while a silhouette had also emerged in the sky. Everything else remained frozen in time. However, the sea in the distance suddenly turned into a clear blue when the silhouette appeared. In fact, even the sky turned blue once again. The purple sun was concealed while the sunlight that belonged to the Duluo continent plane illuminated the land below once again. Following the appearance of the silhouette, the abyssal sage king could not help having a drastic change of expression while he backed away abruptly. Long blue hair hung down loosely behind his back, and a magnificent robe draped across his tall figure. At the very moment the sea god's trident came into his grasp, it felt as if a strange sense of affinity had appeared over the entire Duluo continent plane. Tang San. The sage king shouted aloud, his voice clearly trembling with a tinge of fear. Tang San did not pay attention to the abyssal sage king. Instead, he turned around and looked at Tang Wulin who was watching him in a daze. He smiled. My son, you did very well already. You have proven yourself to be my son. Although every human being was rendered incapable of speech and movement, their eyes could still see everything before them clearly. Tang San. The sea god Tang San. It was a name that was often heard and well remembered. Yet, the person had genuinely appeared before them just like that. How could these people refrain from feeling shocked and emotional? Tang San looked toward the abyssal sage king with a deep gaze. The time has arrived. Upon saying these four words, he swung the sea god's trident in his hand and unleashed rings of golden halos. It was the indefinite storm again, but when released by Tang San, it exuded a feeling of complete confinement from heaven to earth. The abyssal sage king rapidly retreated. He swung the heaven sank crack abyss in his hand in an attempt to cut away the golden halos, but everything he did was futile. The halos kept appearing around him regardless of how fast he moved. They were so fragile and soft, yet they wrapped around his body, leaving him with no chance to dodge. Just like how you told my son, the super divine weapon is wielded differently in a different person's hand. Your super divine weapon is impressive, but we're waste that you're not a real god. You have achieved godhood abilities and you possess the godhood tablet. So now you're only lacking in the purification of your power. Without the support of immortal energy, even if you have a super divine weapon, how much of its power can you unleash? The golden halos tightened, and the abyssal sage king was trapped inside completely without the ability to budge at all. However, he was not surprised, but on the contrary, he appeared joyful in the meantime. He suddenly burst out laughing aloud. Tang San said in astonishment, Why are you laughing? The abyssal sage king said while laughing aloud, I'm laughing at you, of course. Tang San appeared to be calm and composed. He asked, What's so funny about me? The abyssal sage king said, If you hadn't made a move against me, perhaps I wouldn't have noticed. However, you exposed yourself the moment you did. You have but a wisp of a soul over here. Moreover, you won't even be able to sustain it for long, especially after utilizing your attack. Upon hearing that, Tang Wuling's heart sank. The abyssal sage king must know something if he could laugh about this matter. Tang San heaved his You're right. It's true though. I left behind three opportunities for me to deliver an attack when I gave the sea god's trident to Wulin in the past. It's been utilized twice, and this is the last time. However, could it be that this is still not enough? I'm able to trap you for a very long period of time by unleashing the indefinite storm through the sea god's trident. After all, this is the most powerful attack out of the three that I left behind. The sage king sneered. That's not enough. Of course, it's true that you're a god king. I can't even compare to the super divine weapon controlled by even a fraction of your soul. However, don't forget that my power has already achieved rank one godhood. The only thing you can do is confine me. You don't even have enough strength to remove my overall control over this world. There is a limitation to how long you are able to control the indefinite storm. You may be able to bind me, but you can't kill me. What is the use of controlling me? Who do you think you are? I'll just let the boy attack as he wants. What can he do to me? Tang San smiled once again. Sage king, I should thank you actually, just as you thank my son earlier. In order to invade our Duluo continent, you've been preparing for 6,000 years. You are thoughtful and far-sighted. What a waste if you missed something. The abyssal sage king asked in confusion. What did I miss? Tang San said with a smile. What a waste that I've been preparing far longer than you. In order to trick you, I've been preparing for 10,000 years. I've already made plans for everything that has happened. The abyssal sage king was stunned. That's impossible. How did you prepare for this? Your divine realm was already swept away 10,000 years ago. You're no longer here, so how could you have done it? Tang San heaved a sigh. Mankind is destined to embark on the path of high-speed development for soul devices because of their greed. On the other hand, the path of advanced technology is almost irreversible. It will certainly result in the Duluo continent plane being overly developed and starting to decline. If the divine realm is still here, I'll be able to help to make adjustments for the plane to achieve equilibrium. What a waste that the divine realm is swept away by the space-time turbulence. I need to remain in the divine realm to control the situation. As a result, I have no other choice but to prepare for rainy days at the time and help the Duluo continent to search for another path. Sage King, do you remember the situation when your plane discovered the Duluo star in the past? Did you sense the presence of the Duluo continent after coming into contact with a prohibited, dying divine realm in the universe? The abyssal Sage King widened his eyes instantly in shock. He was the only person aware of this even in the entire abyssal plane. Tang San continued to say, Then, you searched and investigated continuously before you ended finding this place at last. You began to attempt to devour the Duluo star, am I right? The abyssal Sage King's eyes flickered with icy cold radiance. So what? Tang San said, just like how you hoped to devour the Duluo plane and turn it into the Divine Realm. At the time, I had no choice but to leave my son on the Duluo continent. Yet, I had no idea how to look for the Divine Realm that was swept away by the space-time turbulence in the future either. I had no idea when I could return. I had to leave some opportunities for my son so he could live to the day I come back and guide him into the Divine Realm. Chapter 1939 is he actually the Lord of the plane? Yet, the Duluo Divine Realm was swept away. The plane was incapable of producing gods anymore. What should I do then? The power needed to rebuild a new Divine Realm was too massive. Moreover, the Duluo star was declining gradually and needed additional infusion of the life force as well. As a result, I picked you. The Abyssal Sage King did not find Tang San smile amusing anymore. He felt the chills arising in his body. Tang San said, Thus, I've prepared this since 10,000 years ago. I was waiting for you to spare no effort in guiding the Abyssal Plane's origin power. Sage King. Tang San is forever grateful to you for doing so. The abyssal plane powers itself by devouring others. It's actually not that rare in the cosmos. The plane itself is not weak, but it's inherently repulsed by the cosmos. Any divine realm will wipe out your plane without the slightest hesitation upon encountering you. Had it not been my guidance, perhaps all of you would have been defeated and killed earlier. Anyhow, you couldn't possibly grow more powerful. That's bullshit. The abyssal sage king cursed in rage. You're just trying to weaken my belief. I don't believe that your whisper of a split soul can do anything to me. Your indefinite storm can only control me for a minute at the most. By then, they will die and this plane will certainly end up as a stepping stone for me to create the divine realm. Tang San heaved a soft sigh. If it's not a comprehensive preparation, how can I call it a 10,000 year plan? Sage King, do you really think that a solid plane like the Duluo continent is so weak that you can come and leave as you please? Had it not been my intention, you can't even build a passage even if you want to. At this point, Tang San seemed to be calculating something in his head. He nodded and said, You're right. I've a minute left at most. No, there's only half a minute left now. However, that's more than enough. There's something I wish to tell you at last. On the Duluo continent, I've more than just my
The dark blue radiance dispersed instantly. The abyssal sage king let out an agonizing scream. His entire body was split into smithereens, turning into countless dark blue energy particles. These dark blue abyssal energy particles tried to flee by dispersing in all directions. Their objective was to return to the abyssal passage. He would only stand a chance of being resurrected if he reserved a tiny portion of origin power on the abyssal plane. However, it was precisely then that a silhouette appeared silently in the sky. The silhouette turned out to be an exquisite woman. Her long, blue hair hung down loosely on her back, and her green dress was filled with rich life sources. She was holding Tang Wuling's golden dragon spear in her hand at this very moment. The golden dragon spear was extended, and its spear tip turned into a rich green gold color. In an instant, the green gold color spawned a huge net which wrapped around the dark blue radiance that was trying to escape. It then devoured them rapidly. The abyssal sage king's aura was weakening and vanishing at a shocking speed. On the other hand, a seven colored light was simultaneously projected down from the sky before it transformed into a tall man with an upright figure. He had masculine facial features with thick brows and huge eyes. His entire body was enshrouded in seven colored radiance. His face was gentle with a faint smile. Tang Wuling was dumbstruck with bewilderment by the scenes that were taking place before his eyes. The seven colored silhouette patted him gently. At once, the immobility imposed on Tang Wuling vanished. He was separated from Du Yuno as well, and the Dragon God transformation's fusion ended. Tang San bowed respectfully in salutation toward the man and the woman. He called out, Father, Mother, Father, Mother, Grandfather. Grandmother, Tang Walin was puzzled by what he saw. He simply could not believe his eyes. Everything that was happening was truly shocking. The recent turn of events would be unbelief. Tang San made his way over to Tang Walin and patted his shoulder gently. He said smilingly, Why haven't you addressed your grandfather and grandmother? Tang Walin looked at him and asked, Father, what's going on? As soon as he uttered the question, Tang Hao, who was hovering in the sky with his entire body enshrouded in seven colors together with A Yin in her long, blue hair and dressed in green, could not help chuckling. Let me explain. Tang Hao floated over to Tang Walin so as to get a good look at him. At the same time, A Yin flew over as well. She then gave Tang Walin a big hug. Tang Walin felt a familiar aura radiating from A Yin when she hugged him. It was the ancient life tree's familiar aura which was filled with a life force. At the moment, he clearly felt the ancient life tree's aura subliming and elevating at full speed. On the other hand, the abyssal energy which had diffused into the surrounding air was surging toward A Yin, and Tang Hao's body akin to rivers merging into the sea. It was the same with the abyssal passage. Loud booming noises were occasionally heard coming from the passage. The abyssal energy was surging unceasingly into the Duluo continent and the bodies of these two. Tang Hao looked at Tang Walin with a smile. He said, "In the past, a great catastrophe befell our Duluo divine realm. First off, there was a mutiny. One of the five great god kings rebelled due to disagreements with your father in an attempt to seize control of the divine realm. At the time, your mother was pregnant with you. Hence." Your father was coerced into submission. As a result, the God of Destruction took over the control of the Divine Realm temporarily. The God of Destruction stretched the Divine Realm's protective shield by force in an attempt to make the Divine Realm even more powerful. As a result, the Divine Realm's defense was weakened. At the same time, the catastrophe predicted by your father happened. The space time turbulence came. You had just been born. The God of Destruction realized his mistake, so he sacrificed himself together with his wife, who was also one of the God Kings. The Life Goddess tried to stabilize the Divine Realm's defense. However, the Golden Dragon King that was suppressed in the Divine Realm suddenly broke free from its seal at the time. They were too busy handling the space time turbulence that they did not manage to kill it then. Thus, the Golden Dragon King found a fortuitous opportunity at last and infused its essence into your body in an attempt to seek revenge on your father. At the time, your father had to uphold the Divine Realm. However, he could not just watch to see you die. Henceforth, he placed a seals inside your body to seal the Golden Dragon King's power. In order to prevent the immortal energy from triggering the Golden Dragon King's power, you were sent back to the Duluo continent. You can only remove the seals gradually and survive by being in a place without the immortal energy. Anyway, how could you be at ease knowing that you would be left alone on the Duluo continent? Hence, I stayed back with your grandmother so that we could take care of you in secret. Due to the loss of the Divine Realm, we lost the Godhood Tablet as well. We had to find a way to live long enough to provide the care for you. In addition to your father's scheme against the Abyssal Plains, so your father helped to transform me into the Lord of the Duluo continent plane before he left. Your grandmother was fused into Shrek Academy's ancient gold tree to become the life core of the plane. The objective was to consolidate our forces to recuperate the entire Duluo star so that it would not collapse from being exploited by mankind. The other objective was to protect you and scheme against the Abyssal Plane. Upon listening to the narration of his grandfather, Tang Wuling suddenly realized as he said, no. No wonder. No wonder I'm nature's child. No wonder I'm the plainest providence. So, it turns out that Tang Hao and Ayin could not help chuckling. On the other hand, Tang Wuling's expression was filled with admiration when he looked at his father. Even after the divine realm was swept away, his father had placed so many contingency plans. His grandfather and grandmother were left behind to protect him. Everything his father did was for his benefit. Tang San smiled and said, My split soul is about to disappear. My son, wait for our return. I'll be back with your mother for sure. After devouring the abyssal plane this time, the Duluo star will be able to sustain another 10,000 years without any problems. Remember this. You must leave mankind to live harmoniously with the soul beasts. The ecological imbalance is the main cause of the planar collapse. Father. Tang Walin's eyes reddened at once upon discovering that his father's split soul was about to disappear. Chapter 1940 Do good and good will come to you. Tang San rubbed Tang Walin's head as his own body turned illusory with time. The situation is set. I can be at ease now. However, you'll need to put in more effort in your cultivation. With the abyssal energy as the foundation, it's not too difficult to build the divine realm. However, you must accumulate your experience and not rush the process. I can be at ease knowing that your grandfather and grandmother are here to watch over you. Tang Hao looked at his son and asked, So how's everything on your side? Tang San said, We were swept away by the space time turbulence into a black hole by mistake. However, we encountered many of the other divine realms which were swept into the black hole similarly. We're now working together in an attempt to break free from it. The memory I've kept in my split soul is up to here. However, we still have plenty of opportunities. Father, mother, my split soul is about to disappear. Please take care of Walin. Don't worry. We'll definitely return. At this point, Tang San's split soul was fading gradually. He tried to hug Tang Walin, but when Tang Walin returned the embrace, his illusory body vanished into nothingness. Father, Tang Walin called out aloud. Tears pulled in his eyes beyond his control. He had just learned that his father had already made all the prior arrangements, all the hardship he endured, and the difficulties he encountered had been supervised by his grandfather and grandmother all this while. Such was their training methodology. Tang Hao flew over to Tang Walin and wrapped his arms around Tang Walin's shoulders. He spoke in a deep voice. A true man would rather bleed than shed tears. In the past, your father left me when he was six years old to travel alone. He relied on his own hard work to become a god king beyond his time. The responsibilities that he bore were no lighter than yours. In fact, he endured the most painful times when your mother offered herself as a sacrifice. Compared to that generation, you're in a better place now that everything is over. A Yin made her way to Tang Walin's side and glared at Tang Hao in a vexing manner. Her beautiful eyes were filled with affection as she hugged Tang Walin. Don't listen to your grandfather. You're my grandson, and you've already done your best. Don't blame grandfather as well. Have we reunited with you too soon. Your father's 10,000 year plan will have been exposed. His efforts will be in vain if those abyssal creatures are driven away by fear. Tang Walin was stunned for a moment. He looked at the devastated battlefield below with a bitter expression. Nevertheless, we've truly sacrificed way too much for the 10,000 year plan. The death of the boundless sea Dulo Chenzinji, the suicidal
Silly boy, don't forget that your grandfather is the lord of the dual or continent plane. Why do you feel the hero sacrifices for the plane are wasted efforts? In any case, you still have your grandmother who is the plane's life core. Although we don't have a divine realm, we're still considered the plane's guardian angels in a sense. Tang Walin was stunned for a moment. He looked toward Ayun by his side. Grandmother, so you're saying. Meanwhile, Tang Hao waved his hand once. The misty seven colored radiance immediately transformed into halos, which then spread outside to melt away the frozen space. The Shrek six monsters could move now. The numerous powerhouses from the Tang sect and Shrek Academy together with the soldiers at the scene could move freely as well. All at once, everyone felt like they were in a daze. Even Yu Yuna, standing not far away from Tang Walin, was similarly in a daze as she watched everything that happened before her eyes. Even though they could not blink their eyes earlier, they could hear everything that happened in the sky, even the conversation between Tang San and the Abyssal Sage King. The Abyssal Sage King had prepared for a full 6,000 years before he took the offensive on all fronts in an attempt to devour the Dualo continent plane. Who would have thought that he was already being schemed by the sea god Tang San 10,000 years ago? Everything that happened earlier was streamed across all the soul channels on the entire continent such that everyone on the whole Dualo continent saw the god who existed 20,000 years ago. Gods really existed in this world. Moreover, the god who protected them had never left. There had never been anyone who could really hurt this plane. It was precisely due to mankind's act of damaging the plane. Consequently, Tang San had to rack his brain to come up with an ingenious way to link the Abyssal plane to the Dualo continent plane. In addition, he delivered a fatal blow to the Abyssal Sage King in the end when the Abyssal Sage King went all out to fuse the Abyssal plane with the Dualo continent plane. The 10,000 year plan was impressive. Tang San lived up to his reputation of being a god king beyond his time. Everyone felt differently in their hearts at the moment. Despite the relief, a feeling of deep sorrow in their hearts. For the continuity of the entire plane and the massive life force supplied by the Abyssal Plane, way too many people had died. How many soldiers died when the Federation's three great fleets were annihilated? Also, there were the powerhouses who had sacrificed themselves one after another to protect the Federation. How could their family members and companions not grieve their losses? There were no cheering voices. It was more like a veil of sorrow had enshrouded the air. Do bad and you will be punished by heaven. A resonant voice echoed throughout the entire world in the meantime. There was hardly no need for soul amplifiers as the voice could clearly be heard in every corner of the Dulo continent. Tang Hao stood over there. His masculine face glistened with faint brilliance. A seven-colored light will rose slowly from the back of his head. It emitted a sound that resonated with the entire plane. Do good and good will come to you. The voice was heard once again. It attracted the eyes and ears of the entire continent. Each and every person shifted their gaze to this lord of the plane subconsciously. Tang Hao's body began to enlarge. In an instant, he exuded a feeling as if he was connecting the side of the land. The clear sky hammer in his hand also enlarged soon after. It was precisely this clear sky hammer which ended the Abyssal Sage King's life totally in one strike. Tang Hao and the Abyssal Sage King supposedly belonged to the same rank. However, Tang Hao possessed the Godhood Tablet. In addition, Tang San unleashed his final indefinite storm to immobilize the Abyssal Sage King, while the Abyssal Sage King was already exhausted from crossing the plane. Hence, the Abyssal Sage King was killed with just one hit. Everyone was shocked upon sensing the aura emitted by Tang Hao. They had no idea what the Lord of the Plane was trying to do either. The few representatives from the Clear Sky Clan were the most excited of all the powerhouses at the scene. The Clear Sky Clan had existed for over 20,000 years. In fact, the had a much longer history than the Tang sect. The clansmen barely made an appearance in today's world. As a matter of fact, their martial soul was precisely the clear sky hammer. At present, they could clearly see the gigantic clear sky hammer in Tang Hao. It made their martial souls resonate with it incessantly. Undoubtedly, the resonance filled their hearts with a peculiar feeling since he was their ancestor from over 20,000 years ago. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.